Next step, we got to put them valve stems in there. Let's get that show on the road. I do have this protrusion on the back right here. I'm sure that was the next question is what am I going to do with that thing? Well, it's actually of no, uh, it won't hurt anything to leave it like it is and put a uh, countersink in the end of it, but it's actually a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is turn all of them around and put them way in yonder where they are bottom out on that right there. Uh, chuck them up in there. And then let's, uh, this is cast iron there we're working with. So let's, uh, I'm going to run a drill bit up in there. And and, and I'm going to, as I, as I countersink it, we're going to, uh, we, we're going to put a, I show you. Okay, dokie. You see that? Put that up there like that. Put that up there like that. Turn that on like that right there. And we're going to mill away the length as we end up with a counter sink in there too. And I can see down in the. I can see that. Wanted about a sixteenth of an inch, which is, which is about what that is. This is actually not a very time-consuming project once you get started with it. Let's uh, I show you something. The uh, we got a little we got a little uh, what's this? Little a little curled over burr right there. You know, you don't want no curled over burr on your on your thing right there. Okay, y'all see that? It's got that it's got that taper in there, and it's about a sixteenth of a long, and that valve will stick out there about a sixteenth of an inch, and then that will be bratted over and fill that little pocket up right there. Oh yeah, let's do another. Y'all remember now, when you working around this high-speed machinery, and even even right now when you taking these out and putting them in there, you want to index the part back into the chuck jaw where it was at so that it will be true and lined up. And that's got a little taper. That's got a little pocket seat right in there, and that makes that fit really, really good. going to bore you with the rest of these right here. Just go ahead and, and knock them out there on the phone. Knock that little, knock that little burr off you under with the file. Okay, we got another valve done. Valve stem material. I've uh, rummaging in the box over there, and I have I have used this right here with great success. It's at 1144 steel. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Tougher than, oh, it's tougher than nails, let's say. 1144, that is a good choice for a valve stem. I may, I've got enough there for two. I may, I may use that up. Also, I, I, I located this piece of uh, 8620 in the box over there. That's enough for a couple. I think I'll use that up in remnants of a past project. And then I got two pieces of that 1018. Now, I kind of like that 1018, you know, for a valve stem. It's, uh, but if you put the micometer on there, that mics out 311 thousandths. And that one's 300 and... 11. These 310 on that 1018. You, you need you keep that in consideration as to uh, the valve guide size. 
And them right there, that's 310. I think all three of these right here are 10. And this is a store-bought valve right here, and it marks out at uh, 311 thousandths right there. Let's do it again up on this side and see what we've got. 311. So any one of these would be a good choice. The hole that I drilled into the valve head itself with this quarter inch drill bit, and that drill bit marks out at 249 thousandths. You don't have any markings on it. It was a good drill bit. It's a, a professional type drill bit. 249 thousandths, it marks out. So if you take one of these valves, put it on there, it's a loose fit. So I'm going to assume that's a good thousandths of an inch. So it's 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 250 thousandths, let's say. So that gives us the good quarter inch hole. All of them are about the same amount of looseness. So you know we can work with that. The uh, and the next step is to turn the valve stem itself down a length backwards enough to where that that will go on on this will press on to there bottom out on this surface here on the little shoulder we're going to produce there and then it will stick out on this end up here about a sixteenth of an inch or a little more you know like that's something about like that to give us something to paint over It'll be a press fit and then peened on the end. No no silver solder, no welding. And I will make a note which engines has these valves in there. And, and you know, a year from now I can look back and uh, see if it was a good idea. So let's, let's get on with this, uh, with turning these down. I'll cut two more there. And then we have to thread, cut the length, uh, cut the length, thread, the intake and then we'll uh, cut the length and drill a hole for the for the pin and the keeper on the exhaust that's the project at hand so let's uh let's gear up here and turn these down <laughs> 